All right, and a very good morning to you once again. Many thanks for joining us. This is a Why in the Morning. My good name is Brian Sakwa, and I'm so, so happy, elated, and excited to be right here with you. But before we do anything, I want you to do me and yourself a favor by interacting with us on our social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, and on X, which is at Y254 channel, underscore on the gram. And mine's personally is at Brian Sakwa 101. And today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday as well, and now that we're in the Christmas mood and the holidays are finally here, we're going to talk about a sport that actually you'd like especially you know if i don't know if you've watched some of these uh santa movies you see somebody sliding down with a machine and then the snow and it, it, it's just a chill mood and a chill vibe that actually creates that fun and fanfare with your family and those that you love close right here that's what we're going to talk about and joining us live in studio we've got uh dominica gecha gikare he's the founder and ceo of ski fund training center karibu sana thank you so much all right, so uh, if for anyone who maybe is trying to watch this show for the first time and uh, they want to basically know you, how would you introduce yourself to them, apart from being a CEO and founder of Skiing and Training Center? Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. All right. Yeah. And uh, my name is Dominic Kecha, and uh, I'm a businessman who is uh, established, and uh, I the CEO of the Ski Fund Training Center. Yeah. And uh, actually it's an upcoming uh, winter sport activity for yeah. basically the youth. And uh, for me, the reason as to why actually I, I suggested to bring uh, such a facility is because I'm a man who is raised in a family that uh, do uh, enjoy things together. So that's why I wanted to bring such a thing so that everyone, both father, mother, the grand, uh, the grandmother, they can be able to enjoy yeah. their gra uh, their grandson and also sons and daughters. Yeah, yep. and, and speaking of family, right now it's all about uh, Christmas, and uh, people are all into that holiday and celebration mood. Uh, personally, for you, have you managed to maybe like bring this service to specific families? And if yes, who are the most, uh, let's say, familiar families that gravitate towards this kind of business or this kind of service that you're offering? Okay. Uh, for us, uh, when we did it, uh, mostly the people who came are uh, the youth because uh, we were just trying it out and also uh, older, older people from the age of 45 to, uh, from the age of uh, 30 to 45. And uh, we were located uh, in uh, Limu Road where we uh, stationed our, our, our first uh, program of uh, this facility. Yeah. And uh, that's why uh, we try to uh, work it out and that's why uh, currently we want to locate it to Konza City where we can be able to uh, create something that will be able to accommodate uh, our climate and also uh, people will be able to have fun uh, in, uh, in skiing, yeah. Yeah, and uh, now that it's Christmas is finally here, maybe are there like special packages you're offering to clients? Actually, uh, we are an uh, upcoming uh, program. Uh -huh. uh, we, are, we are looking for a uh, partnership and also sponsorships, yeah. 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 So meaning uh, you're still on your baby, your yeah, baby true. establishing you know, stage. True. But then this, th this kind of service is not really common. Uh, rarely will you see, uh, I'd say, maybe families from the rural areas gravitating towards, you know, snowboarding and, and, and skiing. It, it re and also it requires a special kind of environment. So maybe if you can describe to our viewer, how is that set up of that sport? It's a sport, right? True, true, it's a sport. Yes, if you can paint for them a picture, uh, what happens and where, what, what are some of the attires that they need to you know, get themselves into so that they enjoy this fun sport. Okay. Uh, first of all, since that is a very cold uh, atmosphere, we'll be able to use uh, modern uh, snow making machines mm -hmm. that will be able to uh, remove uh, the snow. And then uh, for anyone who is coming to, uh, to ski in it, first of all, we have to uh, train you first. Uh, there's a jacket you'll you'll have to wear because this is a it's 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 like a freezer you know you you get uh, the vibe. It's a place whereby you need a jacket, you need gloves, you need a uh, 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 a hat, and also the skiing boots, you know. And all of this will be able to provide uh, as key fun training center, you know. Yeah. And then uh, in in terms of uh, the people in the rural areas. Mm. Uh, we have been able to uh, look at them, actually, 
this yeah. is something that they can uh, afford mm. uh, because uh, per person uh, from the age of uh, 14 years old and below mm. they will be able to pay uh, 1200 shillings yeah. and then uh, 15 years and above they're able to pay uh, 1500 shillings and then yeah. uh, a monthly subscription will be able to be 20 uh, 23000 yeah and uh, this will be able to facilitate uh, 12 uh, uh, 12 uh, lessons mm. yep now for for this business did you f did you get funds uh, from a bank did you get them from your savings account uh, are there people who came on board to support you Ama, it was always a dream for you to start this kind of a business because i believe uh, for anyone who starts or ventures into business there's always that part of capital and uh, capital can include our uh, physical resources True. apart from money or finances in other words True. so for you how did you finally hack it did you borrow a loan from a bank uh, did you receive handouts from well wishes or donors and now that you also schooled at uh, an overseas university uh, how did it go uh, so when we started uh, I, I first of all I wanna uh, uh, say thank you to my family They're the first people who uh, came in and supported me yeah. and then uh, friends also uh, from where uh, I started uh, I studied uh, People came and uh, supported me, and also uh, bring. Uh, they brought uh, uh, funds, you know. Mm. And uh, currently, uh, since we are facing now the, uh, a challenge of uh, uh, raising capital, since uh, this is not something that we can just do uh, as small people, we want uh, want to share uh, this piece of cake because it's a big piece of cake. Uh, whereby we'll be able to welcome uh, all sponsors and partnership who will be able to be interested in investing in us. Yeah, so if maybe a sponsor or someone who is watching right now that they'll be interested to partner with you to sponsor that, like you say, are there like benefits? You know, somebody also would not just uh, sponsor something that's not sure. benefiting them. Even me too, you know, and I want to sponsor something, definitely I must be getting a share, an equal share of it. Sure. Is there any benefits of anyone joining on board? Actually, yep. Uh -huh. uh, what are for, they? for anyone who will be able to uh, invest in us, uh, they'll be able to have a, a special uh, uh, monthly subscription with us. And also, uh, we'll be able to put, uh, since this is something that we'll be able to also to uh, uh, put them in a rollout uh, in outside country, uh, mostly their kids who will be able to be interested in uh, these competitive environments because this is something that uh, you can create a career out of it, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. And so we have uh, looked and dived into uh, how every party can be able to uh, benefit into it. And also in terms of uh, returns of investment, uh, we'll be able to, uh, it's very, uh, we'll be able to return it back uh, actually after six years because uh, in the first years and uh, in the first years we were able to have that uh, margin curve of uh, profits yeah and uh, looking at uh, the net profit uh, from the first year to the second year this is an improvement of 16 point, uh, 16 percent mm. you know and for sure uh, for anyone who is in business you can really understand these numbers you know yeah, yeah. But, you know, the, if, when you look at the ecosystem or rather uh, the climate of the businesses right now, especially small, medium enterprises, small and medium sized enterprises, uh, the market is not so stable. Now with the high taxation rate, the economy is on a flip flop or rather in a nose dive. And like it's just uncertain uh, in short, turbulent times for even uh, young entrepreneurs. When you look at what, what you've started for this uh, in, in this time of a season, do you feel like you're on the road to goodness? Ama, you're also, it's also unpredictable. You just don't know when it's gonna kick off and become something big or you're just trying out by faith, by power. <laughs> Uh, act actually, this is a market that we, we have uh, really uh, looked into it. Uh -huh. uh, this is a market that we, able, we have been able to study it yeah. because uh, according to Global News, uh, yeah. this is a market of uh, one, uh, one, 172.9 billion uh, US dollars. Yeah. And uh, looking at that market, uh, truly uh, it's a bigger market. Right. And also when you come here in Kenya, uh, mm -hmm. We are trying to attract a market of 1.5% uh, uh, uh -huh. among uh, the people who, uh, uh, according to KRA, because uh, uh -huh. 
the number of people here in Kenya who are earning, yeah. uh, it's a ratio of uh, 3%, percent. Uh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So is the market favorable? Are the conditions favorable? Am I still not uh, it's that favorable, stable? Actually. It's favorable. Yep. Uh, according to where you sit. Yep. Right. Uh, according to a MasterCard study, it says 66% of SMEs in Kenya are optimistic about this year. However, 73% of SMEs in Kenya are concerned about the rising cost of doing business and access to capital, capital pardon me, and uh, taxation. And uh, most of them are have been complaining about yeah, lack of capital, like I've said, uh, lack of managing skills, lack of market, inability to borrow funds, uh, lack of uh, sponsors. Um, and then also most of them are aiming for tools like the digital space. And uh, th this, this again uh, includes also when it comes to uh, the digital space, now that we have a lot of young people in it, creating opportunities for them. So uh, are you creating opportunities? Because that's actually the dream to yeah, create absolutely. not only just for you <laughs> yep. but for others yep yep are you creating an opportunity in that business yeah uh, because uh, looking at this uh, uh, spot as uh, we know uh, the government right now they are saying a uh, talanta hella initiative right they want to bring uh, money to uh, the youth through sports you know yeah. and so for us since in the sports sector we will be able to create opportunities to, uh, for everyone who wants to move up the uh, competitive uh, rack, mm -hmm. uh, whereby they're able to uh, have a, a good career, they're able to build. Uh, actually, looking at uh, the winter sport uh, market uh, in terms of career uh, making, it's yeah. not a crowded market, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not like uh, we can say like football. You know, it's a very crowded market before a player is seen up there. It will take uh, him or she uh, time, you know. And for this, we'll be able to uh, make you uh, attain and achieve uh, your career goals and dreams and also get paid also. Yeah. There's an interesting update here that says, um, let me get it right. Uh, it says uh, 1.5, uh, Kenya has an estimate of 1.5 million formally registered uh, MSMEs and over 5 million informal MSMEs and they collectively generate 30% of, that is the uh, gross domestic product and provide, most of them are non-agricultural employment. And this includes... Uh, uh, creating opportunities and they've cited platforms like Ajira Digital Program, uh, the digital marketing service providers, uh, that is for SMEs that have actually ventured into the digital space. Uh, personally for you guys, uh, are you using uh, the technology tools to propel your business? Because I believe now we have <laughs> influencers. Yeah. Uh, for anyone to come up and get you know, known, yes, you can use the digital platform, but now you have people that already have influence in those social media platforms to push that brand. So anytime soon, are you guys venturing into that space? Yeah, actually. Or have was, you already? Okay, sorry. Actually, it, uh, it was in our plan of uh, bringing uh, influencers. Actually, we have been speaking with a few of uh, the influencers here and there. Uh, we're just, uh, uh, we're just, uh, it's just a matter of us giving them a green light when to start. And uh, so we are also welcoming uh, other uh, influencers to come in uh, on board so that uh, we can be able to make this dream a reality. Yeah. Yeah. So what about awareness, creating awareness for this business? How are you doing it? Uh, we have uh, actually created our, uh, we have a Facebook account uh -huh. uh, whereby we have a, uh, about uh, 525 likes uh, into uh, this business yeah. and uh, we believe that uh, we'll be able to venture also into uh, Instagram and all other uh, social media platforms. Yeah, like a platform like X and, and now people are earning, not even a business exactly, individually people are being paid to be on X if you have a good engagement, uh, a, number, a certain number of followers you're getting, you know, some token from X, uh, hopefully you guys will use uh, such platforms. Now when it comes to also uh, business, every business has competition and uh, sometimes competition is healthy. I believe every competition is healthy but there's, uh, I have interviewed a couple of entrepreneurs on this show who said sometimes there's unhealthy competition where you start a business and somebody opens another exactly similar business like yours. So, you find clients prefer to go to this other side and not this other side, and it becomes unfavorable. So for you, uh, do you have competition? 
Actually, uh, yes. Uh, from who? From Panari Hotel. Uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the Panari is key rank. Uh -huh. But uh, looking at uh, what they are doing and what we are doing, uh, it's a bit uh, different. And uh, so for us, also in the future, because uh, as an entrepreneur, you have to uh, foc uh, look at the edge, uh, the, the corner of your business, you know. And so for us, uh, we'll be able to receive a special uh, permit from the forest services that only allows such a uh, facility to exist in a particular uh, uh, county or an area uh, because uh, looking at uh, it because it uses a lot of water and also a lot of electricity but yeah. for us we have been able to uh, cut cost uh, we'll be able to cut cost of uh, electricity and we'll be able to use a solar panel mm. and this will be able to uh, power uh, the green uh, uh, initiative uh, uh, the green initiative uh, movement of clean renewable energy. All right, yep. that, that, that's a very integral part. Now, uh, I'm, 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 I'm remembering about the attire. So, uh, you guys have some form of shoes. Yep. Uh, that uh, somebody needs to be trained to uh, to use them. Yep. Maybe if you can just uh, also paint for us a picture about that part. Uh, is it for people that already have done it before? I'm even for amateurs or someone who's new or they have an interest of skiing. As, is it snowboarding or skiing? Because <laughs> skiing also involves water and waves. True. Uh -huh. But please, you can clarify. Uh, this is uh, about uh, snowboarding and snow skiing. Uh, snowboarding and snow skiing. Yeah, snow skiing. So, anyways, the act is skiing. Yeah, that's skiing. Way. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh huh. And uh, for us, uh, we uh, for every uh, client before the ski, uh -huh. there is a form they will have to uh, fill. Uh -huh. to showcase if they have ever done such a thing before or right. are they uh, are start, uh, people who are starting, you amateurs, know? Amateurs, yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. And uh, if they are amateurs uh, themselves, we'll be able to train them, you know, and uh, they'll be able to have a particular, uh, a different zone whereby they'll be able to use uh, simulators, these, the ski simulators, whereby yeah. there's no snow uh, onto it, it's just a board which rolls, mm. you know. Uh, so they were able to have uh, the ski uh, uh, the ski board uh, shoes that yeah. they were able to uh, use in their training, and then yeah. after that we were able to climb the ladder and now uh, we welcome you mm -hmm. into the zone of uh, the snow uh, the snow environment itself here. Yeah. All right, uh, looks sounds and looks complimented. Uh, complicated but also easy anyways yeah. so uh it's open to anyone from adults to kids and anyone who wants to venture into it true, true, true. uh where exactly at konza konza in malili town uh -huh. yeah uh, currently we have uh we're in the process of securing uh, a plot uh -huh. uh, in malili town we're able to use a uh, optivate uh, optive uh, uh, farm uh -huh. And uh, there we'll be able to create uh, this uh, uh, facility that will be able to accommodate uh, the temperatures and also be able to accommodate uh, the, uh, uh, a safe environment for both kids and adults. Uh, mm -hmm. So that uh, because our motto is uh, to be the best mm -hmm. and to make sure that uh, no uh, client uh, moves there with an injury, we want to make sure that every client moves there with a smile uh -huh. you know? so you have safety gear yeah which are uh, we'll be able to have uh, we have a knee cap the, the knee caps uh, uh, the equipments mm. and also uh, we'll be able to have also helmets also yeah yep All right so even ladies too can can come in a snowboard or ski fun True. uh what about good times are there good times in that because uh, you've said you started this year yep so how many uh, for how long have you been in business for it Actually, it was uh, two years. Ah, uh, uh -huh. two months. Two, two months, months now. Sorry, yeah. Wow, that's a that's a baby business. Yep. But it's a good one. Incredible. Uh, mm -hmm. So, ha, ha, where are, have you ex experienced good times and bad times? Because of course, there's those good and bad times. Uh, but uh, for me, I'd say maybe for a good business, for you to see if it's going to last for long, and you, as an entrepreneur, you can foresee the good side and the bad side. At least give it half a year. Yeah, half a year. <laughs> half a year. Mm -hmm. Up on as a jewel. This one. It's going to be stable. Mm -hmm. So have there been good times already and bad times in these two months that you've been in business? Actually, yeah. Uh, the good times, uh, as we all know, is that uh, feedback from our clients is very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. You know, 
and uh, we have been able to receive very uh, good uh, uh, feedbacks and uh, the fallback is that uh, where we were before uh, since uh, of the architectural designs of uh, the rooms uh, the rooms that we had it was uh, not uh, it was not uh, accommodating uh, the snow because it was turning uh, after 15 minutes was turning into water and uh, so for us we saw that's not uh, a good thing to bring to our clients you know and uh, so that's why we opted to create uh, a bigger uh, facility itself yeah yeah interesting and it's like so for you have you learned anything as an entrepreneur now that you've ventured into it actually yes and yeah, maybe what are some of the skills that you'd love to share with our viewer who's learning about uh, snowboarding and skiing. Okay. Uh, about uh, snowboarding, it's, uh, snowboarding. Uh, number one is uh, the skill of uh, patience. Mm -hmm. That's a very uh, biggest, uh, I can say the, 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 main, uh, the main lesson, patience. Number two, uh, we have, uh, number two, we have, uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm searching for that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have... Um, All right, let, let me also rephrase it. Uh, when, even when, we, when, when I got into this job, I was from radio, and you know, there's a way you try to transition from something different that you're used to and out to something else that you have to learn on it. So maybe what are some of the things that have changed since you started doing this business in you, even personally, interpersonally, from the relationships you have with people and now from the relationship you're having with people in business? Uh, how is it, how, what are some of the things that have changed for you? Uh, I've been able to improve in my listening skills. Mm -hmm, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, and this was uh, based on our clients' uh, needs and wants. Yeah. Number two, uh, we have been able to create a, a very loving family, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, everyone of us can be able to uh, go to that shining star that they do believe in. Okay. And uh, the other thing is that uh, we, uh, the other thing I've learned is about timing. Nice. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Being a good timekeeper, being a good listener. Yep. But, but then also, uh, that also includes feedback in between. Because, okay. you know, there's, there's people who get disappointed. Also, may, maybe you can tell us, uh, when a, how, can you tell if a client or a customer has, uh, is satisfied? Uh, because sometimes, uh, uh, for those that have digital businesses, they, they have a place where you can rate the service. Uh, the likes of Bolt and even these other services as well that are on digital platforms. You're able to rate, give it five star, three star, ten star, depending on uh, the category of the business. So can you tell if a customer has received excellent service and you can even read the body language? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, in terms of uh, body language, we have gotten a very uh, positive feedback. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to uh, the starting itself, uh, since uh, it was not, uh, since the snow was turning into water, we got uh, two percent into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, I have like three questions, and then we go. Uh, what is the future of this business? Maybe what are some of the things you're planning on board to expand it now that it's Christmas? Christmas is finally here. Okay. The whole actually you have only two weeks, and then this year is done. Okay. So now that uh, the holidays are finally here, and uh, you, you've been in business for two good months, and uh, probably you have a vision board. Uh, what is the vision for this business? Uh, for this coming year and also as this year ends, uh, the first thing is uh, uh, the first thing is uh, I will be able to use my our mission, our mission, uh -huh. which is being the best. We'll be able to create a productive and a fun uh, experience to our clients, and this is through facilities, this is through uh, good customer services, you know, and then uh, our long term vision is that, uh, and, and also I can be able to put it into also our exit uh, plan, is that we'll uh, be able to uh, put uh, the facility into a uh, public uh, option, yeah. Right, um, uh, what, what about for you individually? Where do you see yourself as this business continues to grow? Okay, hmm. uh, I'll be able to also reinvest uh, my money into the business, right. because I believe uh, it's just like, uh, uh, there's a story I, I was hearing actually of two wolves, yeah. you know, one, uh, uh, one is a good wolf and the other one is uh, an evil wolf, yeah. uh, an evil uh, wolf. Mm. And uh, the one you feed the most 
that that's where you'll be able to feed uh, yourself yeah you know mm -hmm. so for me since i do believe in this uh, facility mm -hmm. i'll be able to reinvest uh, my capital back yeah. and also provide uh, more uh, innovative uh, innovative uh, ways to uh, to improve it into becoming a better facility in the future. Do you see 2024 as uh, a year where this business is going to blow up for you? Actually, uh, no. <laughs> why? Why not? Why aren't, why aren't you not optimistic? <laughs> It's not uh, being op uh, optimistic. It's uh, yeah. just, uh, you, you know, in business, yeah. uh, the first year, the second year, the third year is yeah. not always a good year. Okay. Until the fourth year whereby now we're able to receive uh -huh. uh, positive uh, feedback from the business itself. Yeah. So I believe in uh, 2024, uh -huh. uh, if the investor is able to come in, Right. We'll be able to create it and then yeah. uh, we'll be able to start uh, the operations in 2027, even though it will be an, elect, uh, an election year. Yeah. Uh, I know we'll be able to receive very uh, minimal uh, clientele, yeah. you know, and that in our uh, financial projections, we have been able to consider that. Yeah. And so from that year, uh, 2027, uh, 2028, 2029, 2030, and then in 2031, uh, 20, uh, that's where you'll be able to now see uh, our feedback now. All right. And if you say so, man, I, yeah. I believe that. But, for, uh, but w w w why don't you, uh, for example, if you are to be optimistic and say, uh, let me give myself, now that you've, you've, you've been in business for two years, uh, give yourself uh, January 2024, <laughs> February, March, mm -hmm. it was six months, mm -hmm. and then you can determine whether you have to continue this business or you have to quit it. Because of course you must have alternatives as well. Mm -hmm. But then you've said, you've talked about patience yep. and, and strategy. I believe strategy is really important in attacking anything. True, true, true. So uh, why can't you uh, strategize and position yourself at a place where if it's not giving you returns in six months, I have to focus on something else. Uh, shouldn't that be part of the options it's you got? Part of, it's part of the option. Uh -huh. And uh, But our main focus right now is uh, uh, bringing, uh, first of all, we have to bring, first of all, investors first. Okay. Because uh, after that, I believe, in, uh, I believe when it's done, uh, right. We'll be able to have, uh, we'll be able to also things to do with marketing. We're able right. to do, uh, 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 we, have, we have a good strategy in our business plan actually, right. uh, which will be able to facilitate the business into a, a, a positive uh, pickup actually. Now, right now, how many people do you have on board for the business? Uh, currently, we have a team of five. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so, who handles what <laughs> and what happens where? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, see, uh, as a CEO, oh, you are the CEO. I'm yeah, speaking to the CEO, CEO. guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, each, each time I usually have CEOs on this on this on this uh, uh, interview. I join that to CEO in Pesa. <laughs> they have a lot of interactions with money networks. It doesn't matter, bro. Once you become a CEO, that's it. The universe has already recorded you're a CEO, and you know, <laughs> CEOs are special people. CEOs are special people. So I'm speaking to a very special guy. So please tell us, tell us. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, also we have, uh, for me, I'm able to, uh, since I, I'm the founder, I have to work here and there. Yeah. You're to, almost everywhere. I'm all, almost <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Then we have an uh, accountant, we have an accountant. Right. And then we have a uh, marketer uh, uh, personnel. Yeah. And is, he, is she or he using the digital platforms? Uh, actually, uh, yes. Uh, actually, is the one who... Uh, 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 put us into uh, the Facebook uh, page, yeah. and actually, currently, is working into the Instagram accounts. Yeah, yeah, which is a very integral and pertinent part of awareness True. in terms of creating the business. All right. So, uh, in what is what is the fun? Maybe, maybe let me put it like this: What is the good side of you uh, having this business? For anyone who doesn't know. For now, just for now. Now, you've said it's only two months anyways, but what is the, how, how does it feel being on the other side and owning this business? Uh, is it, do you feel uncertain? Are there moments where you're worried? You're like, God, says, so, so, what did I get myself into? <laughs> and then there are times you wish, oh God, seem to own it too, I could just support TV vision. Do you have such moments? Actually, every entrepreneur has that, mm -hmm. you know? 
Yeah. Everyone has uh, the mindset of uh, because in a business uh, when it's uh, when you're starting, yeah. uh, you don't have that support that the big support, uh -huh. you know. And uh, for me, I'm not waiting for the right time to have that full support. Yeah. As we all know, uh, as entrepreneurs, we work and uh, we work not when it's the right time, but we create the right. Uh, we, we get the perfect, actually the perfect moment uh, yeah. for us to thrive in the business. Yeah, you know, and uh, and uh, also uh, as an entrepreneur, also we have been able to to uh, learn things here and there. Yeah, let me just put it like that. Right. Okay. We have to go. By the way, uh, just one last one before you tell us. Anyone who wants to partner with you and uh, get to support this business, uh, do you feel like when the government uh, has to consider such a business, uh, is there is is there is there a way that they can also benefit from it, or they just have to support? That's all. Because uh, this business is creating an opportunity, anyways. But it looks more of like um, a recreational a recreational uh, venture. Not like an income and come train to me. Okay. Is, is it more of a recreational venture? Because uh, snowboarding is, is more of a luxury sport, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a basic uh, need or a basic nini venture. Uh, for us, uh, we want to create a, we wouldn't say it's a luxurious uh, thing, yeah. because for us, we want to create a, a fun environment uh, due to this stress and all, and all that's that. That's recreation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's recreational. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. And so if the government comes in, yeah. I believe uh, we'll be able to work something out whereby they're able to benefit uh -huh. uh, from, the, from the sport itself. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So anybody who wants to partner, sponsor, and find you out and check you out, where can they find you? Let's go. Actually, um, my our page is a ski fund training center uh, in Facebook, and uh, my number is uh, 0710 60 54 39. And mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to share the uh, the bank uh, the bank statements and all that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now that you've gotten your number, they've you've given it to them, they'll get in touch and. You know, the, you'll share all those. Okay. Karibu san, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, we have been speaking to Dominic Kagecha Gikaria. He's the founder and CEO of Ski Fund Training Center right here, telling us about, you know, the snowboarding business. And I believe if you've been watching from the beginning till right now, you've learned a lot. Now it's, it's a festive season, definitely. It's all about having fun with your family, and definitely you know the right plug to contact, and that is Dominic. And on this uh, note right here, I think it's time for us to take a very short break. When we come back, we have a lot more lined up for you so tell a friend to tell a friend hey, it's merry christmas right here and a happy new year now that i'm in my costume is definitely about good vibes and inshallah at y254 channel underscore on the gram uh, facebook instagram and x as well mine's personal is at brian circle 101 on that hashtag which is why in the morning we take a break we come back with much more stick around